See, I did it, I was insulated in my center. I wasn't out into spinal cord wards. I wasn't grabbing literature and reading it because if I did, I wouldn't have done anything I did. The doctors didn't want that, didn't want any parts of it. The scientists were like, well, it makes sense. We've been doing it with rats. It should work with humans. But it was one client at a time, kept getting better and better. And that's when everybody, the perception started changing and the scientists start showing up, the doctors start showing up. So if you ask me what our goal is in an organization, it's simple. Get one person better at a time, work with researchers, and change the perception. Because if you change the perception, you change the initial first aid, you change the surgeries, you change the rehab, you change everything about the injury if the perception changes. We are winning. If this nervous system is recovering, is, is regaining function, who's teaching it? It would do it on its own if it could. It can't. So somebody has to teach it and mold it in the proper position. So if you turn this nervous system on, you can have somebody who's tone and spasms that can't move because you don't know what you're doing with them. And that's what happens to a lot of people. It's not here, but their body comes alive and nobody knows what to do with them, so they go back to traditional methods and treat the symptoms. And it's medication, you know, more medication, more medication, because they don't know how to handle this recovering nervous system. Once the science changes, these rehab hospitals have to change what they do. You know, they might not be long term, but instead of filling them up with drugs to treat their symptoms, not touching their legs, they might be preparing the client for a facility like this. I don't know when. But there is going to be something that will help repair this injury. It won't be a magic button. One year, five years, ten years, medical science comes and says, hey, you're still healthy, we can help you. That could give him the boost that he needs to continue. If he gave up, he'd lose his muscle mass, bone density, function, and he would not be a candidate for any help. Some of the scientists that we talked to said that their goal is to turn the pilot light on, meaning get the body rated. If you turn a pilot light on, you got the spark, but you need the gas to keep the spark going. Their goal is to turn the spark on. The exercise goal is to keep the gas coming. All your other facilities in the world rely on machines and passive modalities. They take the human out of the equation. All the machines out there you get rid of, and our clients still get better. Worst case situation for him doing exercise on a consistent basis, either at home, here, wherever, is he's going to stay healthy and he's going to improve. Worst case. These guys, Chris and all of his peers out there, are basically setting the standard for the future. They're the ones sacrificing.